What's poppin' everybody? Top of the morning, welcome to another episode of The Measy Show. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Uh, if you have, you know, a little bit more reservations and you don't want to do it until you see the video, watch the video, let me know what you think. So, uh, a woman by the name of Tina Jimenez, right, was arrested uh, for a fake license plate scheme in the state of Texas in an area called Spring. Uh, I guess it's in the Houston area. Uh, this is back in March, okay? Uh, for pretending to run a real car dealership but guess what she never sold a single vehicle ever right it was just a little farce uh uh, uh it was just a, a front or whatever so um she had a physical location <clears throat> as i said but only sold fake paper plates never sold a single vehicle it was called easy used cars right zero vehicles and the whole time it was open I, i'm i'm assuming it was a period of maybe a, a couple years or, or no nah, maybe not even that maybe eight months whatever i don't know i don't imagine it being too long uh never sold a single vehicle uh so these paper plates for those who are not familiar they're used for a number of things one so i can only i can speak about california not so much texas but it's probably pretty clear across the board so number one right um uh, like in California, let's say you can't pass a smog or something like that, that would be beneficial for you, right? Let's say you your car's not registered and then maybe you don't you can't pay the you too can't afford the fees or whatever, that may be beneficial for you. Uh, uh let's say um I'm not telling you to do this, I'm just saying this is why people might do it. Maybe if you're doing some illegal activity and you don't want your plates to be on there, that may be but this is also why law enforcement is tapping into this particular thing. Um so she sold a total of 1037 fake dealer tags no less than possibly more but no less than uh they're often like i said used to hide the identity of a vehicle avoid registration uh, enable criminal activity things like this um so the the news station uh abc houston they they reached out to tina jimenez and her lawyer neither of them reached back for uh you know comment on this case uh, she's currently on bail, but is being charged with money laundering, unauthorized reproduction, and sale of temporary tags, and both of those are felonies, right? So, what could have been done different in this situation? Obvious, besides the obvious, besides not doing it. You should have did this on the low, Tina, right? Let's say if you didn't have a car dealership, I get it when you work on, like, okay, let me uh, let me say this. When you working with Pisces, I I notice they they have a tight, more so community, and they know where to turn to get this or that and the third, right? So you know, like, all right, go over here. You know, what I'm saying they got these plates. They'll smudge this, this, this. Even like in California, allegedly, they're best back in the day. They had a guy that would smudge this. There are multiple people that have done this, but they would smudge the smog. If you couldn't pass smog, you give them like an extra little bit of money. And they'll say they'll put a slip on it, right? You give them an extra hundred dollars or something. They'll okay, yeah, pass. You go to DMV, you get registered, even though it won't pass the smog. You get what I'm saying? So, but in this situation, I feel like the car dealership. The, I, I get it was a farce, but why? Why? Yeah, I don't understand that part. Like, why would you? Maybe just says this front. I guess, but anyway. Yeah, it's not looking good for her, but I don't think she's looking at too much time, honestly. I really don't. She probably made a cool little amount of money. Uh, let's say uh, ten thousand thirty-seven minimum, hundred dollars per tag. I don't see her doing for no fifty. Probably hundred bucks. So a hundred times a thousand. Hey, you know what that is? That's a hundred bandicas, right? Um, yeah, I don't think she had the location that long. But anyway, uh, yeah, she's on bail. She's being charged with money laundering. An unauthorized reproduction and sale of temporary tags. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I I I hope that she can, you know, not not get into no nonsense again. Uh, you know, that's the news, man. So I'll create these stories, man. I just report them. You understand me? Uh, Y'all can check it out, man, on ABC Houston if you so wish. That's her photo and the thumbnail. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Salute. I'm gone.